आंसर वो जीरो इसलिए कर रहे हैं कि ई इंटरसेक्शन एन एन में कंटेंट है न्यू स्टार ऑफ यस 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 ई सेकंड इज कंटेंट एंड एंड सिंस न्यू स्टार ऑफ एन इज जीरो सो द न्यू स्टार ऑफ ई इंटरसेक्शन एन मस्ट बी लेस देन और इक्वल टू जीरो एंड बिगर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो सो देयरफॉर इट मस्ट बी जीरो subsets of given x then you can define out a measure and once you have out a measure then you can take the collection of all those sets which are measurable with respect to out a measure restrict okay and then you restrict the out a measure onto that collection of new star yes. measurable or you know, out a measurable sets then that becomes a what you call a measure so what we are doing that we are deducing uh, a measure from out of measure and in a very abstract setting actually so there is no restriction here x could be anything l could be anything okay so this is this is a very abstract level okay, it's a method of constructing measure okay and we try to justify it that why this is true so let's 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 apply this result in one particular case actually i'm going to prove it I'm gonna give you a quick go on that. Sir. This is going to be a one way of constructing. Yes, an efficient way of constructing measure. Define the back first, and then generalize it. The back is going to be okay because we're gonna it will be a bit more. So what would be the L on this C actually? So give me the L on C. So 
So I need to define an L from C into 0 plus infinity. Zero to plus infinity. So since L is a collection of such intervals, I need to define what is the meaning of L on to A, A to B. So this must be B minus A. B minus A. L of A, A to B would be B minus A. So X is R, C is A to B, L is a map, and uh, this is everything. So what? Then by definition, or then by the first result, or the first theorem, I can construct an outer measure, and I'm going to name it by M star actually. Okay? The back outer measure. That is going to be a map from all subsets of R into zero to plus infinity. Okay. And A A is what? So A is the collection of those subsets of X which are M star measurable. Okay. Then by abstract result, this is a sigma interval. So if I restrict this M star onto this sigma algebra, okay, and give it a name M, it's going to be a map from A into plus infinity okay. then this M is called the back this is the back this is the back okay. so the back measure comes through a very concrete application of what do you call outer uh, measure. Outer measure. How about if I want to define Lebesgue still these? Okay. So I want to define Lebesgue still these. Now I need to do what? Do the precisely same kind of thing. Then define L 
on the C from 0 to plus infinity and the L of A to B must be what? Alpha of B minus alpha of A actually. I think it's a bit more generalization. So that's Lebesgue measure is nothing, it's just alpha of x equal to x, it's one particular case of it. Okay. So Lebesgue is still used as generalization. Same. Then what? Then corresponding to this L, I can construct a Lebesgue outer measure, outer measure yeah. and then the sigma algebra, and then I can restrict it, and I can get a measure which will be a Lebesgue, Lebesgue outer measure. हमें ये कैसे पता चलेगा ये तो आ रहे ना लेंथ की नोशन हम केस कर रहे हैं कि ये लेंथ की नोशन है फिर वहाँ से आउटर में एस्ट्रिक्टली मतलब लेंथ की नोशन का क्या मतलब है ना आपने पहले भी तो डिफाइन किया था ना सो यू हैव डिफाइन इट्स लाइक ओके वन ऑफ द इंट्यूटिव वे वुड बी दैट ओके वी नो दैट 
still there are sets which you can't measure through this Lebesgue measure. So a subset of R. In other words, this is not equal to two to the R. Not every you know subset of R is Lebesgue measurable. Okay, there are sets which you can't measure. And that will also take you close to the barnack tarasky paradox because essentially this is what you are trying to do. So you are taking a sphere, splitting into five, six non-measurable sets, okay, and rejoining them. Sir, उनका आलोक exactly जो रह जाएंगे जो अभी भी नहीं मेजर होंगे उसके लिए भी कोई हल होगा Thank you. 